Welcome to Be Awesome Outdoors. Hopefully if you're watching this, that means you guys caught some trout that you're looking to flay and cook. I'm gonna show you how to flay them as long as I'm at, and, you know, as long as I'm flaying these, let's cook them and eat them. I'm starving. We've been out all day fishing. Let's get these in the oven. Pretty simple, it's about as easy as it gets. All we're really gonna do is gut the fish. We cut them right down the belly right here. Open that guy up. We're gonna get rid of these fins right here. Take that off, we're not gonna get the fins. So cut them all the way down to there. And we are gonna just gut him out. You know what else we can do? When we eat them, I don't like to look at the head. So let's just get rid of that head. Go. We're gonna dig in both hands and scoop this out. There's a bloodline under here. There's mm, sounds delicious. There we go. We got the guts out. There's this bloodline down the middle. We're gonna take our thumbnail and just push all of that nastiness out of there. It looks gross. You just dig in. I'm sorry. It's gonna be bloody, but if you want to eat a fish, you're gonna have to go through some blood. There it is. It's still kind of a mess, but this fish is ready to be eaten. Surprisingly, you don't have to flay it like crappy like you're thinking. We are gonna go wash that off in the sink and get it all prepped and into the oven. Get a nice, great big, good sized cookie sheet. And we're going to Tin foil. You don't have to cover the tin foil. It makes the cleanup a lot easier. Take the piece of fish and dry it the best we can. To get that extra slime coat off of it. We don't want any slime to it. Very dry, slime free. Lay it down. There it is. Ready to feast on. Well, no, it's not ready to feast on. We gotta cook that. Olive oil. Oh, lather it up. Lather. There it is, lathered up. Put some on the other side. Some more olive oil. Just rub it around on there. Make a little bit on the inside. And then a little seasoned salt. Put a little seasoned salt on it. It'll actually soak through that skin. Right, I'll put a little bit on the inside. Oh, I can't wait to eat it. Delicious. Put a little bit of garlic salt on it. Not much. We keep the wife and the kids happy. They don't like too much garlic salt. And then I love to slice onions, lay them on top, put some on the inside. Because we weren't prepared to actually catch fish today. We caught them, we're gonna eat them. We're gonna go with some onion powder. Hopefully that'll give it the onion taste that we're looking for. If you have fresh onions, go with that. A little sprinkle of that. Once again, I'm not going to overdo it. The nice part about cooking it with the onions on it, if you don't want to eat them, you can always pull that off. Use the onion powder, you're stuck with it. We are going to put it in the oven and cook it now. Oh, I can't wait to eat! I'm starving! Our fish is done. We're ready to feast. I'll show you real quick how we take the skin off and get the meat off of it. But before we feast, let's pray. God, we thank you for blessing us with this fish to eat and that you provide so generously for us. Bless this food to our bodies. In your name we pray these things. Amen. Amen. Okay, you guys hop in your spot. I'll get you some food. It's rather easy. The skin just peels right off of it. There's the skin, and then the meat will separate. The top side will come off, and the bottom side will come right off over those ribs. And there it is. Beautiful trout. And I'll show you the finished product when we're done eating. There you have it, the filleted trout. All the meat is off of it. You can eat it, all the bones stayed on the skeleton here. 
perfectly filleted, no meat wasted. Thanks for watching, you guys. Get outdoors, be awesome, enjoy a tasty meal of fish.